Hi, I'm Aline Anderson. I'm the owner of the Milkweed Mercantile here at Dancing Rabbit Eco Village. Dancing Rabbit is an intentional community. We're building a village like any other village, but we're basing it on sustainability and so that everything we do takes into consideration how does it affect the earth. I'm standing in front of the Milkweed Mercantile and it is obviously a straw bale building and when it's completed it will be a four bedroom bed and breakfast, a, an organic cafe and an eco general store. And the idea is it will be a very comfortable place for people who want to visit Dancing Rabbit to come and stay and learn about all aspects of sustainable life. We're going to have seminars in organic gardening and, and whole foods cooking yoga, everything you can think of that has to do with living more sustainably. If you want to know how to put solar panels on your house, come stay with us. We'll teach you how on a weekend. You can go home and take the skills back to your community. I'm upstairs in the mercantile to show you what goes into making a straw bale building. Obviously, straw bales. The straw is a waste product. That's one thing I learned when I moved here from California. Straw is what's harvested after the wheat or the grain is harvested and it's just the sticks and stuff that are left. And because it's a waste product and it's from our neighbors, it's totally sustainable. So we're putting that in all the walls. It's 18 inches thick. It's incredibly insulative. And so it makes the building warm in the winter and cool in the summer. All of the wood in the building, we have a stick frame, is reclaimed, uh, which means that we get lumber from demolished buildings and take out the nails. It's really time consuming, but that way we're not using new lumber. Any new lumber that we do use is from the area. We make sure that it's all locally harvested and we know where most of it comes from. We'll plaster the building with lime plaster and insulate using a lot of natural materials like sheep's wool and things like that. So this is the lounge. Over here is the toilet and the shower. This is the bedroom, another bedroom. This is a family room. We can sleep five there, two parents and three kids. And over here is the third bedroom. The other one is downstairs and it's our pet friendly room um, and our handicap accessible room. Once our building is complete we'll be able to host hundreds of more people like you who may want to learn more about how to live more sustainably and to perhaps change our lives in little ways that will make a big difference. So we hope you see you here soon.